Hey people, it's Nas nice, Dewey. Now, I first heard about this a while back and it's been in my archives that I haven't gone around to doing it. So, first of all, I'd like to shout out a page on Twitter, Afro Descendant Youth. That's where I got this information from, so, originally anyway. So, you check them out. Now, this is from blackpast.org, the source I'm using. So, here it goes. Cali Guy House. Cali House is most famous for efforts to gain reparations for former slaves and is regarded as the early leader of the reparation movement among African-American political activists. Callie Guy was born a slave in Roberford County near Nashville, Tennessee. Her date of birth is usually assumed to be 1861, but due to a lack of birth records for slaves, this date is not certain. She was raised in a household that included her widowed mother, sister, and her sister's husband. House received some primary school education. At the age of 22, she married William House and moved to Nashville, where she raised five children. To support her family, House worked at the home as a washerwoman and seamstress. In, in 1891, a pamphlet entitled Freedman's Pension Bill, a plea for African-American freedmen began circulating around the black communities in central Tennessee. This pamphlet, which espoused the idea of financial compensation as a means of rectifying past exploitation of slavery, persuaded House to become involved in, a, in the cause that would become her life's work. With the help of Isaiah Dickerson, House chartered the National Ex-Slave Mutual Relief Bounty and Pension Association in 1898 and was named the secretary of this new organization. Eventually, House became the leader of the organization. In this position, she traveled across the South, spreading the idea of reparations in every former slave state rural in Brazil. During her 1897-1899 election tour, the association's membership by 34,000 mainly through her efforts. By 1900s, nationwide membership was estimated to be around 300,000. House's activism was not without controversy. Newspapers of the time often ridiculed her efforts, and the federal government attempted to arrest her and other leaders' association. In 1916, U.S. Postmaster General A.S. Burleson sought indictments against leaders' of association, claiming that they obtained money from ex-slaves by fraudulent circulars, proclaiming that pensions and reparations were forthcoming. House was convicted and served time at the Jefferson City, Missouri Penitentiary from November 1917 to August 1918. Kelly House died in Nashville at the age of 67 on June 6, 1928 from cancer. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This is one of the early leaders of the reparations movement and someone who we probably not normally don't even hear about. I mean, when we hear about people from the slave era, we usually hear about um, Booker T. Washington and uh, Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman. And that's really about it. And also George Washington Carver. So, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. I'll leave some sources in the description so you can have a look at them yourself. I'll leave my GoFundMe there, and I'll leave my Instagram there as well. Peace.